hello sir this is uh, my project for uh, internet of things second assignment so for that i have decided to make a smart stick for visually impaired people so for that if you go to my report and you go down to the bottom you can see the link over there uh, the link will redirect you to my uh, tinkercad location so the base, so the setup basically consists of one Arduino Uno board, one ultrasonic sensor, LED register, and one physio buzzer. That is uh, okay. For uh, we can see for the ultrasonic sensor, we have like four pin over there. So for the VCC pin, we have given five voltage. Uh, uh, you can see over there. So uh, likewise, we have one trigger pin eco pin and one grounded grounded is obviously grounded uh, grounded as you can see over there so there we can see the trigger pin and eco pin uh, so how it works is uh, first of all the ultrasonic sensors sense an echo to the object and then it gets reflected back to the ultrasonic sensor so uh, for that if the distance is near to uh, like 50 centimeter then it will start buzzing the physio starts buzzing in other cases for example if the distance between the ultrasonic sensor and the object is more than 50 centimeter then it stops buzzing uh, in that way a visually impaired person can know if the object is nearer to him or far away from him so this is how uh, the ultrasonic sensor works so basically the trigger pin is output and the eco pin has given over there is an input now there we can see we have one physio buzzer and, and one lead uh, here the lead is grounded the inner part of the lead is grounded and the cathode part has been connected with the register the register is there so as to so as the current flowing to, uh, flowing to the uh, f flowing to the lead uh, if it's high then the lead will get damaged so in order to prevent that we have a register the register the ex excess current will be absorbed by the register so basically the resistance for the register has given 220 ohm in that case uh, in order to uh, increase the lifespan of the lead itself so we have done that and for the physio buzzer the anode part is connected to number six and the cathode is grounded over there so uh, this is the ultrasonic sensor right so when the object is near to 15 centi 50 centimeter it starts buzzing right so it started buzzing over there just like that and you can see the led you can see the led light blinking sorry lighting up as well so yes you can see the led light and the buzzer starts buzzing so there you can see if the distance is and let me show you the code as well so hey here i have coded like as if if the distance is less than 50 centimeter then it will light up and the buzzer pin gets high uh, you can see the buzzer pin over there we have the pin number six for the buzzer uh, so it gets high and the lead pin also gets high but if but for other cases for example for more than 50 centimeter the buzzer gets low and the lid also gets low so it's now you so here we can see any uh, anything going on with the buzzer and the uh, and the you know, physio buzzer buzzer and the lights itself because the distance is more than 50 centimeter over there so basically uh, how we are doing is we are calculating distance so basically here we how we are calculating distance is we are calculating first duration first duration is the uh, time between uh, the ultrasonic sensor and to the object so here the distance is the duration times speed of sound divided by two so we know that the speed of sound is we know that the speed of sound is 343 meter per second so what we are so here what we are doing is we are converting 343 meter per second to microsecond that is 343 meter per microsecond uh, for that we are dividing the meter per second by 10 to the power 6 it's 0 0.00343 and again we are multiplying this by 100 so as to convert this to a centimeter 
So here we are doing 10 to the power 6 uh, is because uh, you can see we are giving the we are taking the time as in microsecond so that's why we are converting the second to microsecond and then later to centimeter per second so it is so that's how it would been working if the distance is nearer to 50 is less than 50 then it starts buzzing but if this uh, if the distance is more than 50 so it starts it does not start buzzing so this is how it goes so one of the advantages of this smart stick is that it's it will be very affordable for every individual out there so it also holds the potentiality to be commercialized for the marsh so if that thing happens then we can literally change the lives of visually impaired persons for traveling especially whether it's indoor or outdoors thank you